We are live in outer space riding on a giant asteroid at Sunny Alpha Stadium, home of the Galaxy Chaos. Oh, that would explain the text I just got from Event Horizon Wireless. Informing me I got five grand in roaming charges. Oh, I wonder how much that text just cost me. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The National Lycans battle. The Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, clearly, you don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the rest early and often. No mercy. First and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And he's off to the races. They're getting on him. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! First and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. First down and nine. Ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And that'll be second down and four. like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Exploded. 
first and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. He's gone. You know, the ref's job is very tough, Bricks. Uh, even tougher when he's dead, I would imagine. First down and forever. And the quarterback calls a shot. And the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Well, uh, thank you. I do my part. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is bam. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. It sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Call a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the door's open and the team's cheerleaders get on. Oh, oh, that's what small talk is really put to the test. <laughs> Second and eight to go. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do something pickups more often. I step in dog turds on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. First and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. First and ten. He broke three and has open field in front of him. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. He refuses to go down. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to bed camp. My big brother told me as soon as he gets there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me.
It's first and ten. Bad person, I think the ginormous guy is compensating for. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. The defense comes up with the ball. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's not going down. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a big up. And he breaks away. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. So at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. And like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. First and ten. He is fighting for every yard. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it. You got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother called me as soon as he get there. Stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp. Some kid runs up to me and stabs me. It's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sweeties this morning. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's bad. And 
It's first and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Dang, less than a white for the headache. Second down and six. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Third and two. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First and eight to go. Second down. 
down and nine. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interception. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. And he's running like a moose right now. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And he, he dies and fumbles the ball. And no one's going to his shiv after the game. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. The defense is down to their last two defensive backs. Once they're gone, it's game over. Those poor safeties and cover backs are really getting beat up today. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope for him. Stabbed and vampires and mermaids. Then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He just put that guy in. Holy crap! He mistimed the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering, and then it's over much too soon. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Now hold on. Looks like the offense has recovered it. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. And he scores. He took that kickoff return all the way back and put six on the board. Great run. Kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And they line up for the extra point. Straight 
through the uprights. And that's the end of the second quarter. Seminole will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Chains. That's good for a first down. This game. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> the offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting the snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Uh, don't worry, that's coming. First and eight to go. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He's sick when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. Brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...